it's for your dash uh, Z1 uh, when you want to do any service work on this like uh, just a track and switching point um, you have to use the uh, port in here it's a covered port just take off the screw And that's it there. And your CPC jig would uh, be used there. And it extends out so you can adjust your tracker in conjunction with your uh, your link device. But because this port is behind the battery and the power supply that comes with the uh, unit is like a battery pack it pa uh, goes in there as well so covering that socket so you can't use that so what we normally do is there's a hidden DC jack here and uh, have it off already um, it's covered we just let the cover and then we can put in a normal a power supply and this one here is AC-L100C and the problem as we'll see it'll power it up we'll just go to camera mode Sony comes up camera and then it shuts down it's telling you to use the proper battery pack. There is a, a way using the length um, remote. By connecting it into its service port here. Put it to its uh, ser uh, service position off to the right. And then in the camera position now as you can see it comes up but we still got our warning up here on the screen and it will that will shut down ignore for uh, shutting down for now to get the unit to work with the normal uh, AC adapter we have to use this um, light remote connect it up to the service port and the switch to the service position and as you see, we got our digits here. First two z uh, zeros here is the uh, page. The next two is the address. And the last two over here is the actual data. You have to select page zero, address zero one, and then we set the data to one. Okay, by pressing the data down minus you can see it changes to zero and then back up to one. So we leave it at one. So now we have the next step then we have to go to address 10. Now we're at address 10. And check the data is zero, zero, which it is. So now we go to page D. So we use our page buttons, change it to page D. And go to address 23. So and change the data in that to AF. Yes. Now we have to press the data key down here on the bottom right hand side and that stores that sitting in there. Okay.
going to power the unit down now. I'm going to plug in the AC adapter now. And I'm going to put to its PCR position. Let's get rid of that information. As you can see, the unit stays up and running. And not giving you the error message. Now you'll be able to connect your uh, your CPC jig into into the adapter in here to carry out your uh, necessary adjustments on the tape deck or um, uh, switching point or whatever else you have to do. Um, but now when I uh, power it down. You have to set this back to its original position. I'm going to power down. And I'm going to set it back to its original position. I don't know why, but that's what they recommend. Uh, will it cause problems? Maybe. So I put my uh, Lank remote in. Power it up. We'll get you a shot at the, uh, the link remote. You have to get it out of that service mode now, and uh, you go to page zero. It's at that already. Address uh, zero one. And set the data to zero one. So. Okay, now we've got to go to address 10. Ten. I set it at 0, 0, which it is. Now we've got to go to page D. Address 23 and change the data to FF. FF and now I have to press the data button down here to write that value. Then I go to page zero. If you go too far, you just come over this side. Address zero one and set the data to zero. You will see on the screen now it's gone back into the warning position. Hope that's of some use to someone out there servicing their Sony cameras. Uh, thanks for watching.